guys welcome to my channel once again this is electro teach channel the channel where i bring you good knowledge on electrical engineering instrumentation electronics and computer knowledge so welcome again today we are going to discuss in our series of lectures on dc circuits today we are going to learn a lot we are going to distinguish between dc and ac so we are going to know the differences between DC circuits and AC circuits and we are going to have some examples, we are going to see some uh, illustration as figures to demonstrate the difference between these two circuits. So don't skip any part of this video, follow along to the end and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back to see my videos again. Don't forget to click the notification bell so that you get notified when I bring another uh, interesting video like this. Just follow along and let us see. This lecture is uh, related to physics, electricity in physics, and as well related, related to electrical electronic engineering. So electrical electronic, electrical electronic engineering circuits, we learn DC circuits. And so basically we want to know the differences between DC and AC. Uh, AC stands for alternating current. Alternating current. And DC stands for direct current. Now, to make it more practical, what are we talking about when we talk about alternating current and direct current? Uh, to be more practical, to drive the point home, the alternating current, the AC, is the current that you will get or the current you obtain when you turn on your mains, the supply from your mains, or maybe you have a generating set. The power you obtain from there is alternating current, AC. All right? So that is referred to as alternating current, to be more practical. Now, on the other hand, DC, direct current, refers to the power you obtain from any battery, any types of battery. They supply DC only, all right? So if you have your car battery, for instance, if you check it, or you have a um, deep cycle battery, which are solar uh, batteries, they supply DC current. Also, if you carry out uh, a, a, a technique on alternating current, you will obtain DC current. If you subject alternating current to what we call rectification, rectification, then you rectify uh, AC, it gives you DC after rectification. So rectification is the procedure education that help you to convert your AC to DC. So you can do that one in a basic, uh, for instance, on electronic circuits and some other uh, uh, simple uh, light current uh, circuits. So we carry out rectification on AC supply, then you obtain DC. Now to be more practical also, uh, the uh, electrical appliances such as your mobile phone, uh, uh, your laptop, and the rest, they carry a battery so that they can have power wherever you take them to. That makes them to be more portable and more useful and now uh, uh, better than your desktop. Now, that battery is also supplying DC power to them. So supplying the power from a voltage, supplying power through that voltage, the EMF obtained from the, uh, from the battery, uh, supplies current, and that means it's powering the system, supplying power, a DC power to the system. Now, those apply other appliances that don't carry battery that will connect directly to a wall socket, for instance, they obtain AC from the wall socket, but mark you, in the internal operation, in the working of those appliances, such as your desktop, your television, 
your radio sets and other electronic appliances that you connect to the wall socket, they internally also utilize DC. They do not utilize AC directly. So internally, we carry out the process called rectification. Rectification, okay? Internally, they carry out the, uh, the process called rectification to obtain DC. So, but it is not a simple, uh, a simple uh, process like that. It's a, it's a technical work that you carry out to rectify, rectify AC and obtain DC. The power will be stepped down from the wall uh, socket value, for instance, 220 volts or 120, as the case may be from different countries, it steps down by using a special means, maybe by using a transformer or other electronic devices. Step down, then it's rectified by sub subjecting it to filters comprising of resistors, capacitors, sometimes um, uh, inductors combined to filter, you know, the uh, AC to obtain DC. Now, if you want to represent AC and DC, in terms of their waveform, we have this. This is a graph of um, voltage V measured in volts and current, I'm uh, sorry, time in seconds. Now for AC, if you, uh, if, you, if you plot the graph of AC, you obtain a waveform in this manner. And it continues. Now, when you look at this waveform, you see that it's going up, positive, coming down, negative. Positive again, then negative. Positive again, then negative, and it continues. So, in that, in that way, we say it is alternating. Alternating between positive and negative. And that is why they call uh, uh, the AC voltage alternating voltage. Alternating uh, voltage or alternating current. Because the waveform goes positive and negative, positive and negative, alternately. Taking positive and negative alternately, continuously. So they call it alternating current. All right. Now for DC, you know, this is AC now. For DC, we have the same graph, voltage in volts and a time in seconds on the horizontal axis. The DC voltage or current goes like this, in a straight line. It does not change direction, positive to negative, no. It maintains one direction, that's the positive direction. And it goes continuously like that. And that is, we call this one direct current. This is AC, you know, AC waveform here, AC, and here is DC waveform. DC waveform. So these are the differences between DC and AC in the uh, physics, electricity, physics, and then uh, electrical engineering science, basic electrical engineering science. So we can have this as basic knowledge, and you can also relate it to practical uh, work in electrical engineering, like I've uh, demonstrated like your mobile phone, your laptop, and other mobile devices, they use battery. And the battery is supplying DC power, DC current or voltage into the appliance, into the device. But other appliances that will connect to power from the power socket, they, uh, you know, they uh, collect uh, AC power, AC voltage that makes them to operate. But internally, they also work with DC because the AC has been rectified. Next, to say it in a simpler way, has been converted into DC. So that is the differences between alternating current and direct current. So if you want to know more about DC circuits, watch the video that will come up now. You see a video that is coming up, just watch that video. We are going to look at DC circuits. Don't forget to like and share this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed, you will not hesitate, hesitate to do so. Until another time when I bring another interesting video like this. Alright? Until another time, bye bye.